India has surpassed the United Kingdom to become the world's fifth largest economy with a GDP of 3.171 trillion USD, trailing only behind the United States, China, Japan, and Germany. As India marks its 75th anniversary, we are well aware of the fact that it has one of the world's largest young and idealistic populations, as well as the world's largest market economy. Even as the world grapples with geopolitical tensions, economic slowdown, and rising living costs, India is developing quickly as they build skyscrapers, nuclear plants, and space research institutes, rapidly cementing a futuristic plan for the nation through technology and mechanization. But the disparity between the rich and the poor hinders the development of India's society and population. Most of the children from poor families have lived in distress because of poverty. According to a report from Slums in India, one out of every eight urban children in India aged 0 to 6 lives in a slum. It is a truly heartbreaking situation as they live not knowing if they will get the next meal. In India, 60% of the population lives on less than $3.10 per day, right on par with the World Bank's median poverty line. The Aryans first settled in the land of the Seven Rivers, then known as Sapta Sindhu, around 1500 BC. Sanskrit was the sacred language of the Aryans, which evolved into Hindi. The Aryan invasion of India had a profound geopolitical and societal impact on Indian society. Most notably, it was the introduction of the caste system, which included remnants of ancient Vedic literature and religion. The caste system was ranked from the Brahims, Kshatriyas, Vasahayas, and the Shudras. However, in India, there are over 160 million people that are classed as the untouchables, or the Dalits. Nearly 90% of all the poor Indians are Dalits. They are often relegated to the lowest jobs, and they also live in constant fear of being publicly humiliated and disgraced. According to Greek philosopher Plutarch, an imbalance between rich and poor is the oldest and most fatal ailment of all republics. It is no different in India. Mahatma Gandhi was a vocal proponent of the caste system and the concept of social groups. He wanted to eradicate the caste system in South Africa, which was made up of ethnic Indians. India is ranked as one of the world's most unequal countries, citing alarming disparities between the rich and the poor. True enough, basic needs like nutrition, healthcare, housing, and education are still not properly addressed by the government. It is no coincidence that India is still fighting over its illegal caste system and discrimination. Could it be that the people are simply tired of this so-called anti-social spirit? There are no prerequisites for entering the hypernation. This is an all-inclusive society that accepts people of all identities, races, social classes, and nationalities. By becoming a citizen of the hypernation, you can reap great benefits in the form of universal basic income, UBI where you will receive a long-term, stable, and minimum basic income. The hypernation will strive to respect the citizen's consensus and integrate these ideals of transparency, equality, and fairness towards realizing a truly democratic and equitable economy. In creating a new ecosystem that belongs to the hypernation, there are notable advantages to establishing the welfare system the nature of social welfare within the hypernation can help to achieve social security, social harmony, and political stability. Not just that, it helps to generally improve the living conditions of the citizens, avoid social division, and reduces the deviation and polarization of standard social structures. The moment of truth has arrived. This is the future. Let's not dwell in the past. Join the hypernation as there will be a huge tidal wave of change that will transform the lives of everyone in the real world through technology. It will spur on a ripple effect in the hearts of everyone in our society. We want to take a monumental step forward, to live on strong and to fight for equality without ever giving up. This is a genuine promise that will echo loud and clear in the hearts of the citizens of the hypernation. 
Welcome to the Hyper Nation, the one and only utopian society in the metaverse.